Hey everyone, Matt with ConvertKit. Wanted to take a minute and show you the differences between forms, tags, and segments in ConvertKit. So for me, I like to think of forms as direct methods that people are coming in to your uh, subscriber list. So uh, think of it in terms of like they are taking a very direct action of signing up through a form or from a landing page they're taking a very they're taking that very specific direct action okay they know that they are opting in a tag is more of an indirect method all right so they're still they're still signing up they still know that they're joining your email your email account but it's usually more like you know, they are being imported they are being imported from a previous list or maybe they purchased something from you, okay? So that's how I think about forms and tags. It is the difference between a direct implicit method of subscription and then more of an indirect method. So maybe it's an imported tag or maybe they purchased something through an integration, all right? So, but the way that segments work is that segments combine these forms and tags and organize them in a way that you want to email and target a group of subscribers. So if you had a newsletter, if you had a newsletter segment, and we've talked about this in another video, I'll link it. But if you had a newsletter segment, then you would include all of these forms that people directly, that people directly uh, subscribe through. And you might also include, of course, people who had imported from your previous uh, provider. And you may also want to include customers. The other thing that you could do is have a customer segment. All right. And then anyone who had purchased with this tag, they could also go to customer. There are some integrations that use forms to connect. So if you did happen to have a, you know, a purchase form, they would go into this segment as well. Another thing that you might want to do is people who were interested or people who had, uh, say, joined all of your workshops or webinars so that you could reach back out to them. So there's a bunch of different ways that you could do this. Um, oh, another thing that could be an indirect method of tagging is thinking about our link triggers as well, okay? So it's still, that's a terrible link. It's still uh, a way that they know they are being added, but it's not quite as, it's not quite as direct as say joining a form. So I uh, hope, that, hope that explains it a little bit better for you. You can see how forms and tags are different but similar in the way that you can organize them. And also, uh, like I said, there's another video that shows how to really use forms, tags, and segments together well. But those are the differences. Again, direct method, more of an indirect method, and then segments is how you put them all together in a targeted way that makes sense for you.